So like, I don't, I, I legit don't know what to, to make of the, uh, the picture here. I think the one in the bottom left we found because that's the one we just came from. This is the one I thought we were at. I thought we were on the Great Plateau. At first, I thought it was a Great Plateau. Then it seemed no. Then I thought you guys were Coliseum, Coliseum. So I came to the Coliseum. I killed the Gliok. There's nothing here. The other one, the top one, kind of looks like it's to the left of Kokiri, of Kokiri Forest a little bit. Here from the top right. The top right we got. So I think we can rule out the top right and the bottom left. Now this is the problem is we don't know how to, we don't know what to do here. Am I looking for the Yiga? Yeah, the top right, that's Death Mountain for sure. Well, I mean he's the so we found the door with the shrine. And the shrine says, Oh, you're not a Yiga, I'm not fucking with you. So the shrine is like behind somewhere. And I don't know where. I don't know. It's it's behind that door. We have to get the Yiga shit, I guess. Because then he, well, we can pass as Yiga. I don't know. Find the shrine behind, yeah. I mean, there's just a door, and it seems like there's no way past it. Uh, unless you can ascend behind the door, but I don't I don't think so, actually. I kind of don't think you can. Have you tried the Eastern Abbey? The Eastern Abbey. I'm not sure what that is. Pip. I don't even know where to like check. Like where would a Oh fuck. I don't want to fight Phantom Ganon right now. All I have is the Yiga chest piece. That's all I have. That's all I have right now. No, I, I I know I can look stuff up. I half want to try going back to see if I can ascend up into the cave. Like maybe I missed a spot I can ascend and I can skip the door. I, I don't know. I, I kind of seem like that's not true. You're going to be here a while? Yeah, it seems that way. So we're actually off the Great Plateau right now. I was on the right track. Let me uh, change my bow back. Save that one for the Lionels, or save that for the uh, Gleox and shit. We have to kill those. There was the temple and the house on the plateau. Yeah, there was a house. The temple is not it. Here, let's go back. It was it was right here. Let's go back. Let's go check this cave again. Let's try it again. I feel cleansed. I'm a new man. Cheers. Rah! Rah! Barb is Link and chat is Zelda and every day he is our hero. Beautiful. I'm crying. So beautiful. Cry every time. I'm cold. It is obnoxious to be cold and then warm and then cold and then warm and then cold and then warm. Poetic. Can confirm weather is like that lately. Sounds like spring to you. 
Sounds like my ex. <laughs> Are you in menopause? I don't think so. Well, so it said that the shrine... It said that it was below me, right? And we found the cave here. It's connected to this bridge here, right? Um, can I offer you like an apple or something? No? What do you want? Fire? You want fire? You think a banana? Not a banana. Make banana. Nope. I don't know. Uh, ooh, banana. Did you miss a purge? No, no purge. Nothing like that here. Nothing. I would never do that. What's that? I was a proud casualty. What are you doing, Link? Back to square one. This is fr this is frustrating. I guess it's kind of in keeping with Breath of the Wild, where the last few shrines are always super frustrating, right? I don't know what I don't. I legitimately don't know what to do. I mean, I can sit around and fucking jerk off with this map forever, and then. And the map is very, very vague. I'm not even sure the map is telling me exactly where I need to go either. I don't even know if that really helps. So this is the Yiga door and he says, what did he say? I have nothing to say to those not of the Yiga, so I can't get in here. Have I found any advantageous bugs, like, like glitches in the game? No, I have not. I haven't really been looking or trying either, so. Right, but I, I see, I don't know. Is there, I'm, I'm wondering if there's like another way in or something. It seems like there's no other way in. Now would be the time to start cheating. The map is pretty clear, but you're rushing a lot. I'm not rushing, man. Look at this. It's look at this map. Look at the thing right to the below Hyrule Castle. Do you see that? Every once in a while, you're gonna face an opponent like me that's just better than you. Easily. Below that, that really hey, looks Bob, like the Great Plateau. The Great Plateau is a huge content, place. But I know today concludes the Zelda marathon. Thanks for all the amazing. I don't think it's gonna be fucking today three. because I don't know. I don't know what to fucking make of this shit. And these apparently the last few shrines are gonna be a nightmare. Apparently. Like, I don't know what to make of that. The Great Plateau is a huge place. So, like, I don't know what I'm looking for or, or what to see there. I'm, I'm, not, I'm honestly not even sure if that's going to get me something, right? Because I thought the guy said, if you find me in Hateno, you can buy my clothes, right? That's what the guy said in Hateno. Like, find me in Hateno. He was like, find me in Hateno or Kakariko and you can buy my clothes. I never saw him. I never fucking saw him. So... I don't think today is going to be the day because these last few quests are going to be fucking a nightmare, apparently. So. I did visit the place where Link, yes, where you wake up. It was, there was like basically nothing in there. I want, I really do. I wanted to finish it today. It seems like it's not going to happen. If this was like, if I knew it was like another hour or two, probably, but it looks like it might be like a lot more actually, because man, I have no idea where the shit is. It seems like it's going to be a lot more. Ask Usebi. It's probably going to be tomorrow or, or tonight. 
I'm not really looking for answers, chat. If I wanted an answer, I could Google it or something. I'm not I'm not I'm not, I'm not here to follow instructions on what to do. Who's there? Wait, you, you're Link. <laughs> oh, these dickheads again, huh? Hang on, let me put on my fighting clothes. I ain't got my fighting clothes on. Ow! Let me go. So he gets captured just like repeatedly, huh? You're not one of them. You chase off the eco plant, I can get out of here. That's gonna be the same map, huh? Why me? Guess your uh, your guess is good as mine. Ah. Ah. Okay. Okay. So we gotta look for these camps, huh? All right. Almost 2,000 time to look for the rupee armor. All right, let's look at this thing again. Now, that to me looks like west of the forest is what that would look like. Oh, you think Makar Island? No, it's not. Is it an island? Uh, maybe, right? Maybe Makar Island? Does this say anything? The gloom, dredger, and hover doom. Earthquake technique can only be learned at the hideout's training area. Earthquake technique? So it looks like around here or possibly there. Let's warp here. We're just gonna have to look around. Where is Makar? I don't think it's going to be on uh, Makar Island. Hmm. Uh, Chasman, thank you for the 700 bits. Uh, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to wrap this game up. It's uh, the the last bit of it's. Uh, it's fighting me. It is resisting me. Where the hell am I? Are we under five yet? We're getting there. It's because I say crayons. Bam Bam Bigelow. Dude, where's my car? You guys are on a loop of the same jokes. Over and over. You guys are looping. Somebody kick the chat. They're looping. Bode. Rohanu. Do you like the game? Somebody say a bow joke. Somebody actually tell a does anybody actually have a good joke? Does anybody have a good joke? There's a cave. No. I doubt this cave will be Yiga. Oh, actually, you know what? This is exactly Yiga because you got the fucking frog bitches all over the place. Your face. We watch you every day. That's not enough. The writers are on. I, oh, chat's writers are on strike. Ah. I'm a familiar. Ah. I'd like to run across to kind and knowledgeable. So. Ah. Join my master in the hereafter. Ah. 
Okay. Is that a scythe? What is going on in this game? In this game, you can craft whatever fucking nonsense weapons you want. So, like, you can do that all the time. So I've got a club with a fucking sword duct tape to it. The Yiga are problematic. They're douchebags. <laughs> they're like, they're actually, what's funny about the Yiga is that they're actually way worse. Like, they seem almost like, oh, so cool. Like, you know, they seem kind of comedic, but they're actually kind of fucking real douchebags. <laughs> they're really bad. Like, they're worshipping, they're worshipping, like, the destroyer of the world here. Did you want to hear a vegetable joke? Just warning you, it's pretty corny. What's the difference between a finely dressed man on a bicycle and a poorly dressed man on a unicycle? A tire. You like that? Gotta get those dad jokes. I hate you for making me laugh at that one. I didn't make you laugh at that one. You blame my ass for that. Steal their fucking bitch ass bananas. How do billboards communicate? Sign. <laughs> All right. Hear the joke about Bode? No, is that, is that not it? <laughs> I kind of like my answer though. I went to Home Depot to get a nice straight piece of lumber, but every piece they had was bowed. What happened to the cow that jumped over the barbed wire fence? Utter destruction. Have you ever tried blind archery? You don't know what you're missing. Okay, so it's gotta be in here. We must be missing something. Here are the sale on paddles. It was quite the ordeal. Okay, I am not seeing... I'm not seeing anything. Oh, I see something. This is a game that really, you know, it's a stereotype that video gamers never look up. And finally, I've been waiting. It's pretty late in shots. The hero arrived to Sarah, so this is entirely expected. Okay, Yiga tights. Okay, so we finally, we have the set. Okay, so wasn't that bad. The map is a little, like, slightly misleading. It wasn't that bad. Okay, Yiga. Where's my pants? There we go. Now we're going back here. Hello, George. Hello, George. How's the shrine hunt? Uh, it's going, man. It's going. We have four shrines left to go. George. Oh, George. Oh, oh. 
George. Our large son. George. Boy. That's cool, boy. Let me leave. Oh, bonjour. Oh, bonjour. Ah. <laughs> George. Another bit of Mario movie, do you think there'll be a Zelda movie? I hope so. I hope that they cast uh, uh, Jack Black as Ganon, and I hope that they cast uh, Chris Pratt as Link. Uh, Eric, thank you for the 43 months. Thank you very much. All right, so... What's, like, the worst... All right, all right the worst... Let's, let's come up with the worst casting for the Zelda movie. Uh, Ganondorf is played by Vin Diesel. Uh, Link is played by Tim by uh, uh, what's his name? Timothy Chalamet. Adam Driver is Link. No, no, T Timothy Chalamet. Tom Holland. No, he's even worse. Tom Holland is Link, and Taylor Swift as Zelda. There you go. Oh my God! Yay! Yeah! Zelda movie. <laughs> Yay! Danny DeVito as Tingle. Give this people ear. This is the Yigo Blade Master Station. Zendaya Zelda. Boo Ninho, thank you for the 53 months. Eric, thank you for the 43 months. Cheers, thank you very much, guys. But my exam is more rigorous. You saw what it takes to see it? I'll do it. Listen closely, my words, the test is unforgiving. This is what you must do. There are five frog statues identifying marks of the Yiga clan. I will reveal the locations. Uh, make an offering of mighty bananas to each one. Fuck my ass. Mm. <sighs> what happens if I take off my hat? Now, what happens if I do this? Uh oh. I feel like I know you from but I'm drawing a blank. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't work. That's funny. He says like, huh, I don't know you. All right. Frog statues. Hit. Unbearable heat. Hmm? Celine Dion as the Deku tree. Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Darunia. <laughs> Can you smell what Darunia is cooking? Michael Sarah as Link. I haven't seen Michael Sarah in a long time. Does he? He like? Was he like forty years old, still playing like a teenager? I guess some people just look young. You know, like some people just look young. Is he, he's actually in the Barbie movie, is he really? <laughs> Oprah as Zelda. Uh, I need to see the movie, the Barbie movie. Gotta go double feature, go see the Barbie movie, go, go see Oppenheimer and then go see the Barbie movie. Barb is a Karak. No, I want to play Ingo. Wah! 
Kid me, right? Is that another fucking cave I gotta find? Seriously? What is this goddamn caveception? Jesus Christ. Find a cave and then find a cave and then while you're finding a cave, you gotta find a cave and then also find a cave. It's goddamn caveception. And it wasn't too bad, but still. Yo, dog, I heard you like caves. Uh, we tried trying. I hate trying. Did I, did I follow this shit? Is this all for a shrine? Yeah, I think this has been one of the more um, involved shrine quests. This shrine quest, you gotta save. Like we've already, we have to, we've had to do multiple things just to get the shrine quest started. Um, Scarlett Johansson as Mifa. Just getting the shrine quest started was like a whole thing, you know? Uh, where's my climb pants? There we go. Larry David as Sahasrala. <laughs> okay, that one got me. You gotta save the sages. Ellen DeGeneres as Fee. The Rock as Groose. <laughs> Tyler Perry as the whole cast. Now you're talking. Peter Dinklage as the Korok. Shut the fuck up. Vin Diesel as Hestu. Koroks were a family. <laughs> Batista as a Goron. Gilbert Godfrey would have been the perfect link. He really would have. Steve Buscemi as my is it Bu Bu you say Buscemi right or I don't really pronounce his name Dominic West who the fuck is that is that uh is that Mary from Lord of the Rings Did I pronounce it right now oh, okay Chris Tucker Mom, as Ganondorf don't <laughs> Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Inisu, Unisu, thank you for the 37 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. He was in the wire. He was in 300. Is he the one that talks like this? Was he, was he in Lord of the Rings? He, he was Faramir, right? Was he Faramir? Is that his name? No. Oh. Pedro Pascal and Sidon, shut the fuck up. I hate, I hate that because so that's exactly the thought that like, ho that's exactly what a Hollywood executive would think. It's like, what about, can we get Pedro Pascal involved? He's so hot right now.
Um. Up. It was right here, and I walked away from it earlier. Uh, uh, did you watch the last one series? I did. Yeah. Mike, it, it was okay. Like I think it, I think it did about as good a job as it could possibly do. Um. My issue with The Last of Us was that I just don't like The Last of Us that much. And I especially don't like Last of Us 2. So. Not enough zombies. Well, it's a very, very generic zombie story, ultimately. And the one thing... I'd say the one thing for me, I, we, we always end up talking about Last of Us here, so forgive me if you've heard me say this already, but the one thing that was kind of redeeming for it for me is the fact that, like, I, I liked the characters of Joel and Ellie. Like, I liked those characters. And I feel Last of Us 2 destroyed whatever interest I had in it. It made me hate every character, pretty much, and hate the story, and... I lost all interest in anything regarding it. So like I don't know where the story would go from there and I don't and I don't care. So like I don't care what they do. Right, yeah. I mean, it's, for me the characters it, whatever investment I had in it was the characters and then they killed or ruined the characters, so I don't care anymore. The story was awesome of Last of Us 2. Well, I mean, you're not the only one that thinks that. It seems like people are very divided on it. So, for me personally, I found it. By the end of it, it was like I was just I just wanted it to end. I hated every character and I didn't care about anything that happened. Like the end of Last of Us 1 is kind of energizing because like how many of you guys have had like a debate with like either friends or like somebody about like the end like the ending of last of us one and like oh man would you have done that oh man oh my god like was joel right oh i don't know it's kind of like it's like energizing and like oh man like what a crazy ending the end of last of us two i feel like the predominant thing people feel is oh oh god just end oh i hate it like there's nothing really to talk about at the end of it it's like please god let it end Okay, I don't know where the fuck. Now I gotta find another. God, this is like, this is like super cave quest. Holy shit! Non-stop fucking caves. Jesus Christ! Like mega cave quest. Where the fuck is this cave now? God. Give this people air. That's how you feel about this game story. Um. I feel like they're trying to do something with the Zelda stories. They're, they're not really succeeding, but they are trying. I appreciate the effort. But they try, they're trying, it's not working for me, but it's probably working in a more simple, for more, you know, people who don't want something more complex, I guess. Damn it, man. I don't know where this last fucking thing, where this, this one is here. We're close on the mini map. People of the land. Uh, maybe I should like follow this. Follow this or something? For the simple minded. Do you know how many shrines you have left? I have four shrines left right now. Ow. I don't fucking know, man. I don't know, dude. I did hear that uh, tears have been selling very well. It's got to be in the ground. It's got to be a fucking cave nearby. God, I feel like I spent the past 10 hours in the game going like, it's got to be a cave nearby. There's got to be a cave around here somewhere. I feel like that's been the last 10 fucking hours of this game. I wonder if there's a cave nearby. Might there be a cave somewhere around here? Get a mental breakdown checking the map. Oh, 
Oh, people told me about fucking, uh... Oh, hey, it's the monster bitch. Hey, look at that. I haven't seen you in a while. Is this it? Sure doesn't look like it. It, it, oh my god, it really was in here. Holy crap. Ay, ay, ay. There's a lot of fucking monsters in here too, huh? Alright. The monster bitch Barb has an ex-wife. We're out of here. Uh, everyone get your bits and get bits and gift subs ready for when he does find them all. I think those people are waiting for me to stop playing this game. Wait till we turn on Mario. First day Mario's back. Oh, it's Mario again. <laughs> There's a lot of caves in the game. Yeah. Level 20 hype train. Dude, Mario's pretty good, man. <laughs> Did Barb say Mario? Does that mean I'd play your level? You can't believe it has this much longevity. What, this game? Uh, well, the thing about this game is it's optional how much you do. So if you were really rushing, uh, I don't know how fast you could beat it. Um, I'm not sure, honestly. And I don't know if by not doing certain things, you're making the game like crazy hard. Um... What it looks like to me is that the first thing you got to do is go to Hyrule Castle and fight Phantom Ganon. And then after that, I guess. Now, after you do that, I don't know if you would have to fight. See, in Breath of the Wild, you would have to fight all of the different versions of Ganon before you fought the final Ganon. I don't know how it works in this game, actually. I don't know. I'm actually interested to hear how it does work. So... Uh, Phoner, thank you for the 23 months. Thank you uh, very much, Phoner. Appreciate that. Thank you, Fox, for the resub. Bowser shows up. Well, it'd be, uh, it would be quite strange if, like, Cole Guerra showed up, right? And like, how would you even fight? Here's the other thing is, how would you fight the bosses that require elements? Like, if you ran directly to the boss and you had to fight like the little shit spitty guy, how would you fight him? Because uh, if you don't have water, you can't fight him at all, right? What the fuck is this? A carrot? You want a carrot? What do you want? Apple? Oh, yeah, I've had this happen before. What does this actually do? Oh, that's and it opens up all the caves. Oh, that's it shows you the caves. Oh, oh, that's what that does. Find your soulmate. I didn't, I don't know why. I, I didn't think about it in the past, but nice. I get it now. 
Yeah. I can't believe you found that one shrine without this. I was losing my fucking mind. I was going in circles. That one shrine was like underneath the shit. There's a lot of caves there, yeah. Excellent. Oh. Finally, you return. My intelligence source have confirmed it. Ooh. You passed the Blade Master exam. I have a reward for it, so you're permitted to step into the inner sanctum. Pay no heed to the strange glowing runes you might find inside. We haven't yet decided what to do about them. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else do we have? A ruby. The eager are funny. They're funny, but they're actually... Oh, wow. It's like an actual eightfold blade. Oh, wow. Not a fucked up one. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Take that. That was a lot of fucking work for this shrine. What is blue but not very heavy? I don't know. That fuse would be insane. Yeah, we can put that on something. This shrine should give you a banana. That'd be pretty funny. Light blue. Big battery. I left all of my good jokes back in my abode. Hang on, I want to try something. Can I hit the three minutes of ad button? I can. Yeah, let's put on three minutes of ads. <laughs> I have an idea. Let's do that. Barg hates the poor. You can always subscribe. I have turbo. <laughs> uh, hang on. We got this one. Uh, dude, let's put the let's put the Lionel horn on this thing. Eighty-seven. Holy shit, dude! Eighty-seven attack. <laughs> Uh, holy shit. <laughs> Memento Mori, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Kalofi, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate that, guys. Welcome back. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the gift subs. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, plus 38. That ain't bad. 32. Nice. Okay. Uh, here, let's go fuse this with something. I'm all do good, Jaw. Sure. There you go. I'll beat you with my beating stick. Uh, thank you very much, Mentamori. The highest, so the highest attack I saw, chat, I got hit to one heart by Molduga, and I had a, uh, I had a weapon that said uh, Desperate Strength, and I was at one heart. I looked at my weapons. It said 170 attack. <laughs> it said 170. That's the highest I've seen. Yeah. Memento Mori, holy shit. Thank you for the 50 gift subs. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Memento Mori. Holy shit, man. If you got a sub, welcome. Uh, thank you so much, dude. Um, Three shrines, chat. There are three shrines remaining. Thank you so much, Memento Mori. Now the real needle in a haystack shit starts. Yeah. 
Okay, so if we're looking at the underground... I bet it's not here. I bet it's not there. West of Central Hyrule, let's see. So we know that the light route corresponds to a shrine. So you see here, like, this right here corresponds to a shrine we just found, right? And this is a shrine, but underneath this is blank. So this is probably just the light route. There's nothing there. So probably not a shrine here. Uh, we already have this shrine. Probably not it. You get a prize at 5k. I mean, what do you want? What can I, what can I give you? I can give you a middle finger or something. And I got, I don't, I don't know what to give you. Uh, give this I bet there's something here underground. I bet there's something right here, actually. Because these two looks like nothing but northwest of here. What do you think? Sir Wombat, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. I bet that way. Yep. Yeah, I bet there's something there. That's six hours. See you at dinner then. Uh, Sir Wombat, thank you for the 22 months. Really appreciate that. You'll mod. Memento Mori, trust me, you don't want to mod. You don't want to do it. Trust me. It's better. It's as somebody who has modded, it's much better to just watch stream and enjoy. <laughs> it's much, much better. Uh, John the Egg, thank you for the here. seven months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. You want a VIP? You got to win marbles. Ask DJ. It's it's horrible. Uh, legit meow. Thank you for the resub. John the Egg. Thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. We haven't had new mods for a really long time. I want them, but I just haven't seen anybody worthwhile. When you accidentally pin a chat, you get yelled at. I thought, you, I Dan, I thought you were pinning that chat because you were trying to dunk on somebody. And I was like, all right, Dan, relax. But that's why I thought you were doing that. I was like, Jesus, man. <laughs> I thought you were like, hey, everybody, look at how fucking stupid this guy is. I, I didn't realize it was a misclick. You were trying to click reply. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to be like, hey, everybody, look at this fucking jackass. <laughs> Emotional damage. Time to drive out to the Tough Mother race coming up tomorrow. Wish me luck, Barbara Stretch. Hey, man. Good luck in that mother race, dude. Hope you kick some ass. Have a nice cold one before the, before the race. Uh, Fostex, thank you for the 1,500 bits, sir. Appreciate that. Thank you all very much. Oh, look. It's Colgara. I don't, I don't really think, like, I, I appreciate the offer. I don't think we really need mods right now, actually. I don't think we really... Son of a bitch. Leave me alone, Colgara. Uh, I don't think we really need new mods, actually. I don't think we need any right now. I think things are pretty good. I appreciate the offer. I will promise I will keep it in mind. Volunteer is not wanting to be mod. Of all the people, werewolf, you might be the least uh, likely to be elected as a mod. <laughs> of everybody here right now, you might be somewhere near the bottom of that list, my friend. Mods are elected. Yes. The only thing about that is that I'm the only person that gets to cast a vote. <laughs> means I got a chance. Uh, Fox 6 to 1500 bits. Appreciate that. One vote. It's still a vote. It's still an election. 
Democracy at work. Dictatorship. Does it say barbarous prime minister? Does it say barbarous council? No. Does not. Won't even have mods emo. Ideally for, for me, for my, my sometimes my mods take it on themselves to do like a lot. Ideally for me, my mods just like they're just watching the stream like anybody else. And if they see some shit, they like they time it up, man it. Like that I don't really they don't they don't have to do anything else beyond that and, and if it gets too much they can step away anytime they want. That's like ideal for me. And I don't need I don't really need them doing too much beyond that. Yeah, just like if you if some if you see somebody screaming like racial fucking shit or like bigoted shit or something, you can just ban them. My money means nothing to you. Um It means something. It doesn't mean I'm going to make you a mod. <laughs> doesn't mean that. I appreciate it. Though. Also, there are no refunds. Mod me now. Where's the crystal? Thank goodness the shrine alert sound is much it's it is way less obnoxious. This is true. Oh, we gotta fight an ice talus, huh? Okay. Oh, does that not work? Oh, I don't have a bow quit. Why do I have this? Where did I get this shitty bow? Ow! Not that sword, that's my good sword. supposed to fucking avoid that <laughs> was a generous hitbox yeah my mods are just people who are here a lot they like they're very active in chat and but that, that's that's mo ow that's mostly how they became a mod you know Uh, let's see. Uh, do I have anything I want? Oh, I think I could probably slap this bitch on the master sword, huh? There we go. Is bald a mod requirement? No, but it is an inevitability. It's actually be funny once in a while. Yeah, DJ is pretty funny. I think I think DJ is the funniest when I do stuff like this. By the way, we now have a new mod opening. <laughs> why does Master Sword have no attack power? I don't know why they never tell you what the Master Sword uh, attack power is. See, DJ's a pretty funny guy, right? <laughs> Unrelated, we now have a mod opening. <laughs> They don't want to embarrass the Master Sword by showing how weak it is. You know, maybe maybe the reason why they don't show the Master Sword's attack power is that that scales based on how strong you are. So, like, it's, like, always... It's kind of like the Demon Bow Heart, the Demon Heart Bow, where it kind of goes with your attack level, you know? Yeah, maybe that's the only weapon in the game that scales with you. That That would make sense. Free DJ, uh, Peroxidasis, you can, how about you join him? You are unworthy of these realms, unworthy of your title! You're unworthy!
Well, the Master Sword is kind of a, a nice, like, I feel like I keep it as a baseline weapon. It'll be like my go-to first weapon whenever I run into some trash. Like, I don't, I don't really want to fight. I do feel like the Master Sword charge, like, it, it breaks insanely fast. Like, oh my god, fast. Dude, the demon bow is fucking strong now. My, I think it's like the strongest single shot bow in the game at this point. Okay. Two shrines left, chat. I'm almost beginning to think it might not be something we can solve via the underground anymore. I'm beginning to think it might not be an underground situation anymore. It might be in the sky. Now, if they were in the sky, where would they be in the sky? I think I was here. Let me go here while we're looking at the map. Let's go there. 120 on the surface. Yeah, I don't know. I need, I want to go here because I want to buy some fans and shit. Did I get to the outer space island? I did not. Apparently, there's nothing up there, though. I did get all the notes. You get a glider fabric. You do get a lot of rupees for it, so it's worth it if you need rupees, but all you get is a glider fabric, so it's kind of whatever. I still think it'd be cool if the glider fabric had like a function, like if they did something. Like I'm not asking for it to like, this glider fabric fucking doubles your attack power. I'm not asking for anything like that. I think it'd be cool if like, this glider fabric slightly increases your, your lateral movement speed. Like this one slightly, this one get, makes you jump higher. Like, I don't know. There's probably like little things they could do to just make them more worth it. Yeah, just like little tiny things that way, just like, it's like the illusion of like you you doing something mattering, I guess, would be kind of nice. That's all. This one gives you plus 10 riz. Yeah, something. More stamina. Yeah, maybe like your stamina doesn't fall as much as you're gliding. Like something like that could be cool. Two shrines left, that's right. Hang on, why don't I change my title? Two shrines left. There we go. Uh... No, I'm still going. Do I have any shrine quests? Uh, let's see. No, I think all my shrine, it says all my shrine quests are done. Yeah. All the shrine quests are complete. You have 30 sky shrines. Uh, I mean, we can count, I guess. There were one, two, three, four, five in the top right corner. Six, seven here, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one. It seems like thirty two. Ah, uh, Memento Mori, thank you for the fifty gift subs. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Still not modding you. Thank you very much for 50 gift subs, man. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Memento Mori. I really appreciate that. Thank you, dude. Back to the underground, right? What else can I do? Um... Maybe there's more, maybe there's more here, right? Maybe there's more here that I don't realize, right? That seems like that could be it. Something around here, the moon. 
Uh, thank you, Memento. Yeah, maybe there's more there. Uh, okay. Not if you're bad at it, dude. K Kindred just timed out Werewolf, and I'll tell you that Kindred is a really good mod. <laughs> uh, thank you, Memento. Really appreciate those gift subs, man. One of the best. That's right. He's timing out Werewolf. He's doing an amazing job. Have I fought the last boss? I am attempting to get every last shrine in the game. We only need two shrines left. Two shrines left to get. That is all we need. I have had a really like, uh, maybe, you know, I played a lot of this game over the past week. It's been a, it's been a week since this game came out. Um, I played a lot of it. Maybe, uh, maybe slightly spoiled a little bit for myself. I don't want to say like I, I didn't spoil the game in terms of like I knew what was going to happen, like or I saw something ahead of time. Just playing that much of a game is maybe going to turn it. You're going to turn against it after a little while, obviously, right? But overall, this game has been super, super fun. Really good game. Yeah, I, I didn't think you did meant them more. I didn't think you did. <laughs> really, really good game. Now, I don't, I don't know. Did you guys, I, I, I mentioned this earlier today, the interview with Aonuma, and he said that this is going to be the shape of Zelda in the future. That does bother me a bit. And, uh, you know, we obviously don't know what future Zeldas will be ultimately, but, uh, you know, I guess we always had the classics, right? Big frog. Next one could be better even still. Well, I feel like the next, the next decision would be to make it in a world that has nothing to do with this, this Hyrule, right? I feel like that would be the next decision, right? Like a, a completely new world this time. Now they did a pretty good job with the world, but I feel like that would be the next one. The new legend. I, it would be, you know, it'd be interesting. Okay, a new world. And now how about the story has nothing to do with Zelda? Nothing to do with Princess Zelda or the Sheikah or anything of the sort, right? I feel like that would be interesting. I don't see why. I mean, obviously, you know, Legend of Zelda, but it was Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, right? So we didn't... Zelda wasn't really involved with that one either. It does somewhat look like there could be one right here, doesn't it? It does look like the one, there could be something there. And call it The Adventures of Link. Can we get this for when you ban people? Let's see, Green Ferret. Thai Dank? What is this? Sure, fine. Have a TIE Fighter. If I had known about this thing sooner, this like hover bike, as imperfect as it is, this would have probably saved me a lot of time in the game. Probably would have saved me a bunch of time overall. You got it. The legend of Fi incoming. I'm burning. Uh, Nintendo, thanks for $5. Thank you very much. Holy fuckerolies.
Memento Mori, thank you for the 50 gift subs. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate that. Thank oh, I was right. Thank you, Memento Mori. If you got a gift sub, welcome. Hey, thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. You can't buy love, but you can buy my gratitude. Unless you're werewolf. <laughs> Thank you very much, Memento Mori. I really appreciate that, dude. I hate you. DJ, thank you for the five dollars. Thank you, DJ. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'm not running out of power. I'm trying to land. I'm not running out of power. I understand that you can hit the ground if your vehicle runs out of power. The problem is that I'm running out of power. The problem is my vehicle goes up. Fly, yes. Land, no. It only flies, doesn't land. Ban me for it. I was probably not gonna ban you, Memento Mori, because uh, you didn't really do anything wrong except give me money. But you know, I wasn't really planning on doing that. All right, let's go west. Because if I don't ban you, I might get more money. <laughs> yeah, why would I ban my customers? Uh, thank you again, DJ. Appreciate that. Thank you, Memento Mori. I really appreciate the gift subs. Toxic relationship. Uh, so this is... It is... west of me here bad interaction with the streamer because i was refusing to ban him i mean it's not hard to get banned you can get banned pretty much if you any of you can get yourself banned immediately <laughs> it's not that hard you really want to get banned what's up nikki All you have to do to get banned is say how much you like Skyward Sword. That's it. That's all it takes. I love Skyward Sword. I mean, really, like, I can make fun of you guys for, for, for liking Skyward Sword. I did sit here and beat it all in one sitting. So, I mean... I feel like I'm the real loser here, actually. <laughs> I feel like I'm actually the real loser on that one. I really thought there was going to be a cave here. Skyward Sword is good. It's worse than Star Wars 7, 8, 9. Calm down there, man. Oh. Cave. Big cave. Ah, there we go. Uh, I'm, I think I have a crappy... Yeah, we can use the Molduga hammer here. <laughs> I think you'd rather see the Mario movie than play Skyward Sword. Well, Skyward, a playthrough of Skyward Sword is, what, like 25 hours or so? Longer if you're playing for the first time or if you suck. And uh, the Mario movie is like, what, 40 minutes or something? No, not 40, not 40 minutes, like 90 minutes or something. 
I don't want to fight Phantom Ganon. 90 minutes, maybe. Uh. Hey, thanks for the gift sub, Yug. Keith, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you very much. Wow, wow, that rock was taking that, <laughs> that rock was taking people out. You guys see anything? Let's see shit. Did I flee the battle? Uh, yeah, I don't really. F I've I've fought Phantom Ganon many times. I don't really feel like fighting him. Yeah, this has got to be a Korok here for sure, right? All Koroks confirmed waterfall. Was there a waterfall near here? I don't see one. It's like in this direction. Uh, all the mist. Yeah, oh yeah, it's just it's just mist, right? So I thought I saw a cave, but it's just like a little side path here. Is there a point to collecting all those fu little fuckers? I mean, they're like little miniature puzzles, you know, and it's debatable how worthwhile any of that shit is. Uh, is there another cave over here? No. Make Hestu dance. Oh, I saw another cave. It's all down below. Just for, yeah, it's just for fun. You can use it to increase your uh, right. There, like, literally is a functional. Did you guys see caves? I wonder where the fucking uh, horse bitch is here. Where's the goddamn horse? I don't think this is anything, but. No, not Sarah Jessica Parker. God. Yeah. Yeah, it's just that. Who said that? Who the fuck said that? Oh, man. How the hell are we going to find this last shrine? Uh, such a dated joke. Sarah Jessica Parker out here catching strays.
Uh, no cherry tree? I don't know. I haven't seen the tree anywhere, man. I haven't seen it. Uh, have I been in this cave? Have I been in here? I don't think so. Possibly here? Yeah, yeah. All oh, right, bombs. Yeah, idiot. Got it. <laughs> right. Uh Neat rock. <laughs> I like how little shithead gets blown away every single time. <laughs> he did happens to him every time. Get out of the way. <laughs> Why does he do that? Hey, Link, what are you doing over here? Ah! I see we are being very Mario Maker with our bomb excavation. This seems fun, yeah. Sometimes this game likes you to make likes you to play Minecraft. Yeah. Diamond. A crappy bow. Thank you. God damn it. Wasn't there a claymore back here? Give this people air. How many hours so far? Oh, I must be like This is one of the longest playthroughs I think I've ever had on on stream. This is up there with like Elden Ring first playthrough. Uh this is up there with a uh, grounded first playthrough. It's up there. It's a it's a fucking massive game. 
This has been longer than... Uh, yeah, this has been... Uh, Elden Ring was about 80 hours. This has been... I've, I've played this more than 80 hours for sure. Yeah, Grounded... I think Grounded actually also passed... El I think first place would probably be in terms of length would be this game. Uh, this game has been really long. I've also played it like a lot too. So like, you know, it's been like only a week, but I've played a ton of it. Uh, grounded, I think, past Elden Ring in the end, I think. I think it did. The Witness? Uh, The Witness was... wasn't as long as you, like, think it was, I think. The Witness was just protracted because I can only play that game in, like, smaller bursts. You misgrounded. There was just a recent, uh, a fairly recent update to it. I wonder if you can make a machine that would, like, fucking... I mean, the answer is yes. But, like, a machine that would just tear through these tunnels in, like, two seconds. Grounded was your favorite playthrough? Yeah, man, that, that game was a fucking, that, that was a goddamn journey. That was a motherfucking journey, that game. Um. <laughs> Fuck off. Huh? Is this shitty game even worth it? Uh, I don't think this game has been shitty. I think this game has been amazing. Super fun game. When you play a game enough, not a lot of games can hang. Not a lot of games can still be interesting after that many hours. Uh, okay, I would like to grab you. Yeah, this game has been super, super fun. It's not obviously, you know, uh, what what games are for everybody ultimately. So like, you know, if it's the game not for you, then it's not for you. You know, the cock and ball structure of vehicle is actually a fairly stable structure for vehicles. Consider the cock and ball structure on your vehicles. Right, yeah, it's very practical. Holy shit. Memento Mori, thank you for 50 gift subs. Again, man. Thank you so much. Uh, Memento Mori, thank you so much, dude. Really, really appreciate that. Thank you very much, man. That's it. <laughs> that was a short, that was a short trip. It was a short trip that time. <laughs> uh, there are no unique uh, gift sub badges, which is kind of a shame. Uh, thank you very much, Memento Mori. I appreciate that. God damn it. <laughs> and there's beer in Texarkana. Like a Pavlov's every time I hear the the you think holy shit. <laughs> oh the teenage mutant oh okay, that's what you're saying. I, I didn't understand that. 
Uh, Mighty Monarch, thank you for the 22 months. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Let's update the title. One shrine left. One shrine left, chat. Only one. Thanks for the shield I don't need. Uh, Memento Mori. Thank you for the five gift subs. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. How long will it take? I don't know. <laughs> so they finished the game and they... Why do they do this? All they had to do was make the row one less. And it would if they made the row one less, wouldn't that have fixed the issue of it like being uneven or something? Could they have like easily fixed that issue? Yeah, that's all they needed to do. And it would have been even two hearts. Why do they do that? <laughs> Room for DLC. I just like, why don't, I don't, I don't know why they do that. Nintendo. Memento Mori. Thank you for 25 gift subs. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Memento Mori. Uh, if you got a gift sub, welcome. Hey, dude, thank you so much, Memento Mori. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hey, I got to pee. I'll be back in one second, chat. Be right back. We're hanging in there. We're going to get this done. Oh, man. One more fucking shrine, guys. Memento Mori, thanks so much for 25 gift subs. Is it really? Has it really been 5,000 gift subs? Holy fuck a rollies, man. That is fucking nuts, dude. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I can offer you my sincerest thanks and I can offer you, I can offer you this snake. You get up there and you say, thank you. There you go. I can offer you this. <laughs> Have a little snakey. That's a lot of money. Thank you so much, man. Really, really appreciate that. Yeah. You know, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Meats. That might be true. What are you doing? Nicky Boti. I'm going to be going to relax. There you go. I can offer you cat, but there's my cat. Uh, thank you. So I for, genuinely thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the support. All for you and for Snakey. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Uh, if you got to give sub welcome and thank you so much, Minta Mori. Okay. Any fucking ideas? Any fucking ideas? It could be like a little tiny fog thing somewhere here. Maybe the underground, look at the hero's path. I mean, if it's under, if it's, if it's hidden in a fucking cave, then I wouldn't fucking know it, right? Uh, I don't think, I, th I think we can safely rule out the sky. Like safely rule out the sky. You think like uh, here, somewhere here, there could be like more than one hidden here, maybe? I could, maybe it's in the castle. Yeah, maybe. I kind of doubt it though. I think the sky is probably done. Oh, it's all good, man. Thanks for watching. I guess let's go here and let's go north. Let's go see what that is. Could be in the sky. Could be in the sky. Oh, man, yeah. We're going to have uh Katie was going to make soup tonight, but I don't, I, she asked me, I don't know why she asked me for my opinion on dinner anyway. Cause she's like, you want soup? And I'm like, yeah, okay. We can do soup. But then like she, she asked me and then she doesn't feel good at, in the at, at night anymore. So it's like, why don't you just decide what dinner is? Cause she's like, she's nauseous. She's like, oh, I'm not feeling good. Like, why don't you decide dinner and I'll just, I'm fine. I'll eat whatever <laughs> you decide. What kind of soup? Uh, it's like a chicken orzo soup she makes. That's uh, really good. Like you decide, I'll, I'll be whatever you whatever you decide. I'll be fine. She trained me well. Cooking stream when? Uh, I was planning on doing that. 
And now my wife is pregnant with twins, so now I don't know when I'm doing that. <laughs> I was planning on doing that. Uh, I, I haven't got a laptop. I haven't got a laptop yet. A laptop would make that infinitely easier. Shit. Oh, whatever. Use your phone. Put some baby food in a bowl on stream. Yeah, right. Uh, pull laser and bring in a microwave. <laughs> Just have a microwave right here and cook a hot dog. Yes, Slur, yeah, I'm aware. Um, right now we're looking for the very last shrine. Uh, I've gotten every shrine but one. So I think we can rule out this area. It seems like there's nothing else here. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, it doesn't have to be like, I, I, I do want a new laptop because it'd be nice to do like writing on it and stuff. It'd be nice to, to do all that. So I would I would prefer something more functional, and, you know, but we'll see. I bet it's something really fucking sneaky here, right? Like something like incredibly sneaky. You think towards the castle? I haven't been this way. You think towards the castle? I haven't been over here at all because I'm trying to avoid the end of the game. There's no shrine there. You think it's in the sky? See, I'm not seeing anything in the underground. I, I don't, I don't, I think this is just one. See, we already have that. I mean, I could check it. I just don't think it's there. I'll be afraid to get more gifts now that I hit 5k to such a milestone. Hey man, you got to do what you got to do. And, uh, if you never give another, if you never give another dime to me, if you just watch and unsubscribe and never give another sub. I still fucking appreciate you and thank you for everything. So that's your own business. You got to do what you got to do, man. But uh, thank you so much. You're always welcome here one way or the other. 25 in the sky. What about the middle east side? There's a fog right here. If you're talking about this one, I think. Ah, uh, Memento Mori. Is that like a test or something? Like, what was that? <laughs> Thank you for the 50 gift subs. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Memento Mori. Um, uh, holy shit. Thank you very much. You guys see one? I'm not seeing shit. Thank you so much, Memento Mori. I really appreciate that. Uh, seems like you guys are seeing it. Look in between the top two at the maze. I don't see it. Right, these are the shrines. This is the light route. Some, uh, oh wait, hang on. Look at this, right here. That's it. It's right here, chat. That's it. North of here. You said top left. They were fucking wrong too. Yeah, you were wrong too. That's gotta be it. Let's go. How can you tell? You can tell because right there is definitely a light route. Uh, and the light route corresponds. Uh, the light route corresponds with a shrine above the ground. 
So because there's a light root here, there is definitely a shrine above. Now that shrine above might be a fucking quest. It might be in a cave. It might be like completely hidden, but it's definitely there. Yeah, it's kind of, I think it's kind of cool that uh, the, they interlock in that way and that exploring one, uh-oh. Fuck. Exploring one thing gives you guidance on another thing. I think that that's pretty cool. Uh, it's, I mean, it's just a fucking good game. It's just a good game. I don't need the root. Oh, yeah, but getting the root will help me pinpoint it. It's, just, it's right here. I may as well. Okay. That's that. I wonder if there's anything you get for doing all of the light roots. I wonder if you get something for doing all that. Yeah, the, the names are inversed, right? Uh, all right, so we're going, uh, let me go here and go there and we're going north, uh, of this. Hey, go north. Fuck is that dragon thingy? You can dig up. No, you can't. You can't dig straight up. Doesn't work. The light roots are designed so that you can't ascend. If you're trying to ascend from the, from the floor to the surface, you have to find like specific points. There's not a lot of places you can do that in the game. There's, there are, they do exist, but they're very spread out. It's pretty hard to get back from the surface to the top. Yeah, there's special pillars. You, there's also the Deku tree, where you can do that too. Uh, but it's, it's pretty rare. You can't just do it anywhere. Waza, thank you so much for the 18 months. Thank you very much, Waza. Appreciate that. I did find all the Star Islands. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Got them all. They, uh, the reward is, uh, a lot of rupees for doing it all. Each one gives you a hundred rupees. They're not that hard to do either, honestly. So if you need cash, it's pretty good. Uh, they give you a fabric for your glider. So kind of whatever. I don't think it would have been hard to have the fabric do something mild, like increases your horizontal speed, increases your movement, decreases your stamina loss. Like it would have been cool if they just did something. And I don't think that would have broken the game. It just would have made it just like a little bit more interesting. Is there any reward for all the light roots? I don't know. I, I don't know. Did I get the fierce deity set? Does it exist in the game? I have no idea. I don't, at this rate, I don't think we're going to get it. Okay. Is it? Oh, not what we're looking for. So before we do anything, we still have to find the shrine itself. Let me make sure it's not on you. Okay, it's not on you. Uh, happy Friday. Hey, happy Friday. I guess let's try climbing up this thing. How many hours in this game? Ah, uh, what does the Twitch tracker say? This game, I think this has been one of my longest playthroughs I've ever done on Twitch. This has been a long one. Eighty-nine, so like almost ninety hours. Yeah, it. it I think it's past grounded and Elden Ring pretty comfortably. Uh, 
It's been a long one. Subnautica was long? No. It was grounded at 80.4 on the tracker. I doubt it's going to be up here. 90 in a week is insane. So we're looking for the cave. We're looking for the final shrine. Yeah, I'm looking for it. We know it's here somewhere. That's all we know. How long was Red Dead 2? Oh, I don't know. Did I put my first playthrough of Red Dead 2 on YouTube? I, I think I did. I don't think Subnautica was that long. Yeah, uh, I do think it's a little unfortunate that a lot of the end, ca the end shrines end up becoming find the cave. It's a little annoying. It isn't the uh, it isn't the end of the world, but it is a lot of find. Can you find this cave? Yes or no? I do recall that uh, when we came here, one of the one of the Gorons said like, "Oh, if you uh, the the lizards, there was some kind of quest with the lizard or something." I don't remember what the, I don't remember what he said at all. It might be in my log or something. Watch a lot of my God of War Ragnarok uh, videos on YouTube. I agree with you on that one. Overall, Ragnarok was a pretty fun game, but uh, yeah, I was a little bit disappointed overall. Uh, definitely felt like a step down from, from God of War 4. Finale in sight, yeah. Whoa! What the fuck? Oh shit! <laughs> it looks really stupid. <laughs> That's the hidden treasure. Oh, so you can probably find all of the. Um, you can probably find all of the uh, divine beast things, can't you? They're probably all around somewhere. Neat. King shame. My summons put on put on those masks too. Do they? No, they don't. Liar. Uh, poor Bode. Shut up! Shut up about Bode. God. Fire one with the summon, where is the mask? Oh, wait, so you're saying if I summon the Goron? Hang on, where's the Goron? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's pretty neat. So now he's wearing his mask, huh? That's cool. That's cool. Neat. Now I don't need to see his stupid face. This is true. Boy, I love a good old fashioned game of find the cave. <sighs> yeah. Cat tucks. 
Uh, Epic Experience, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Epic Experience. I don't know, man. Maybe it's closer to like the entrance of the area. Like, uh, there's like a Unobo Co bullshit over here. Did I find it yet? No, we're looking for the very last shrine right now. Haven't found it yet. Now it's telling me beneath me. So this is where the Unobo Co thing is. Hmm. Man, finding those uh, those horses really helps, doesn't it? Really, really helps if you find those horses, don't it? Another talus here. I mean, the same cave as you teleport to near the shrine. Uh, the same. I'm not sure which one you're talking about. The horses are the ones with you. You uh, sacrifice the apple, and then they they light up every fucking cave in the area. I didn't realize that that's what they did until today. I was like, oh, that's what that does. You have to find the certain tree and there's like a little thing you can make an offering, I guess. Have I maxed out my battery? Uh, I think I can actually make the battery even more right now, actually. I, have, I haven't gone back in a while. Maybe if I could actually make a vehicle worth a damn. That's not a real thing. I swear to God. I didn't know it was a real thing either. I don't blame you. Motherfucker, we're getting farther away from it. Give this people air. I don't know, man. Uh, Miss Torn, thank you for the 61 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Oh. Is this going to be gems or is this going to be a fucking cave? It's chest. Fuck. Uh, I like, like, like. Oh, a cobble thrower. That's pretty funny. Uh, I guess I can probably take this. And combine it with a rock. Oh, fuck, dude. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, Miss Torrin, thanks so much for the reset. Appreciate that. I almost thought there was going to be like a quest. Uh restore zelda or something you know like bring zelda back now is the game gonna actually commit and have like set consequences like zelda had to sacrifice something to be that way or is she gonna magically go back to exactly the way she was again i feel like my assumption would be zelda's going to magically return to the way she was again with no consequences whatsoever i would be surprised if it did not do that Oh, 
Oh, I feel like it would actually show some balls if it was like, wow, Zelda really, Zelda is now this thing and she's like, oh my God. And then she's like now revered as like a God of the land or something. I don't know. It's not even like an unhappy ending. She's just, uh, she did what she set out to do. She saved everybody. And now she's literally like, she's an immortal God. She forgot who she was. Sure. But like, I don't know, like all things considered, that's a pretty happy ending. She didn't fucking die. She became a fucking dragon, right? All the consequences in Breath of the Wild. Well, there were consequences for the divine beat or for the, all the heroes. They all fucking died. So there, there were consequences for some people, I guess. Okay, man, I'm fucking stumped, man. Eats a Korok seed, becomes a tree. I'm fucking stumped. Let's jump up. I'm going to jump up here and warp down, and we're going to try to fly around. Her mind died in a sense. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. But, like, it was her choice, and she if she sets out to... If she did what she set out to do... And it was a choice she made and she saved everybody. Then like, that's kind of a happy ending. Right? I don't know. I did do the Yiga one. Yeah. Up. Oh, I see something here. See, there's a lot of false positives around here too, because um, a lot of these are probably not even going to be caves. They're going to be like ore. Does the rail network lead anywhere? Uh, it takes you up the mountain if you want to go that way. Uh, rockets and a, okay. <laughs> What's up, Peep the Horror? Yeah, man, we need one more shrine to get all the shrines in the game. And we're really close. Fucking Korok. I swear I helped that fucking Korok too. I do. I would like to stop at Monster Bitch just to see if he's got anything. Uh. Are there any caves in the network? I mean, the it's pretty far away from the rail network is the issue. It's like very far away from it. So like you're talking about the rail that goes around Death Mountain. And then this is here. We see a cave. Okay, the game says I went into this cave. Uh, did you get all the memories? I got all the memories. Yes, I got all the memories. We are one shrine away. Oh, there's, there's fucking birds, right? The birds usually indicate something or other. You can try these birds. How good is this game? Uh, this game has been a lot of fun. Been very, very fun. Had a great time with it. Definitely a recommend. All right, let's go see what monster bitch. We've got a bunch of gems. Let's go see what she got. Let's trade four bubble gems for a Lionel Mace horn. No more daily Zelda for five years. It's going to be a long time before we play Zelda again. Although I will say, I do love Ocarina of Time randomizers. I love Ocarina of Time randomizers. What the fuck is this? A Hariblin mask. Okay, sure. Dick nose. I don't know where the cherry tree is around this area. Okay. G 
Gleok wings. <laughs> you can miss the wall. I, I very well could have. Whoa, look at this shit. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> that looks sick. I love it. Lionel mask. Don't those be don't linger too long. Those beasts are smart. You think there's like a Gleok mask or something? Oh, was that OOT ROM hack? It was okay. It was uh, frustrating and it's more so like the potential. The potential of it was really cool. Really, really Give cool. This people ear. Whoa, look at this fucking hat. Look at this shit. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it had some really cool moments in it for sure. Bro. <laughs> it looks so cool. Okay, birds overhead. Yeah, I don't know where the Sakura thing is, so you screaming at me is not going to help. Oh, in here? Okay, let's turn off our fucking followers because they are goddamn annoying as shit. We try. Whoa, this is cool. Do do do. Oh god. Do do do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Boo do do. Definitely near last shrine. Donkey Kong. Silver bells. This is a cool one. Uh, whoa! Holy shit. <laughs> I need a bow. Am I, uh, am I going the right way here? Ow! This is super cool. Saving the best for last. Yeah, this is pretty neat. Now, I don't know where I was supposed to go in here. We just turned around. Um... Nope, I see it. Oh, 
Yeah! We made it! Oh. I might as well watch the final boss. Yeah, we're about to get to that final boss, man. Neuron activated. 152 shrines is a lot. It is a lot, man. Minor, it'd be, dude, I, I always, I honestly thought that at some point, but they, they reused every enemy. I thought at some point we might run into uh, a guardian or something from the last game. I almost kind of wish they were still in the game a little bit. Okay, and it's a crappy thing we can't use. Got it. I almost kind of wish they were in the game a little bit. Okay, last try. Let's see what happens. Saving it for DLC. I miss Dark Nuts. Yeah, Dark Nuts would have been cool. Or like the Bone. Uh, well, I guess the Bone guys are kind of there, right? You have done well to reach this place. Is anything, anything different? Emotional damage. Afal Martin. Thank you for the 1500 bits. Thank you very much. Me and my wife really like your vibe. Uh, thank you, Afal Martin. What do you think? I don't know. Maybe they say something different. <laughs> do that pose IRL. You son of a bitch. Uh, Akai Suisway, thank you for the 38 months. Oh, good thank you very you. much. And it's over. This is the final light of blessing. Make your way to the temple of time. There you shall find a suitable reward for your efforts. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What do we got? Cool. Cool. It's time to beat Gabnon. All right. Changed our title. A poncho. It's Ogdo Bogdo with a steel chair. A golden rupee. Thickums is waiting for me. Finally. All right. Let's see. We're warping back. To the temple of time. Wait, wait. When it says temple of time, does it mean the temple of time? Or does it mean the temple of time? <laughs> what does it mean? I don't know which one it means. Uh, it's not this. The This is the forest of time. This probably means the sky one, right? The Room of Awakening. Let's go there. Back to where it all began. Uh, Rusty Jones, thanks for 400 bits. Akai Sweesway, thanks for the 38 months. Thank you very much. Oh, man, what's it going to be? I think it's easier to get Miranda than it is to get Thickums. Why don't you celebrate to the uh, Great Sky Island? Um. Oh, wait. Oh, that's the Temple of Time. Oh, right. My bad. That's the Temple. Got you. That's Temple of Time. <laughs> I thought this was the Temple of Time. You're a certified hood superstar. I don't know. I'm fucking the Room of Awakening, the Son Temple of Time. Of who gives a shit? Gold jacket, green jacket. Who gives a shit? Uh, Peachums, or Peaklumps, thank you for the four, I thought you were Peachums. Peaklumps, thank you for the four months. Gosh darn, you are sexy today. Uh, thank you. Okie dokie. This has been a super, super fun game. Really good time. After how many hours I put into this, the fact that I'm still like super positive, like I have a couple little complaints here or there, but the fact that I'm still super positive on it, uh, it's just been a really, really great time. Nintendo really did a great job with this game. Worth the wait, much better than Breath of the Wild.
Give this people air. Ah, uh, Pasika, thank you for the 27 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Do I like furries? Uh, my view is that you are, you're welcome to do whatever you want to do, brother, as long as you're not hurting yourself or anybody else. And it doesn't make any difference to me. You are entitled to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Think the way from Skyward Sword to this in two games is a blessing. Yep. Yeah, if you're if you're chill, I don't I don't give a shit what you do behind closed doors or what you look at. I don't give a shit. Why do you hate this game though? Right, we're maxed out on hearts. One lousy heart. No, that's not the reward. There's a chest right behind here. Go and bring peace. Is this is this the reward? Uh, contain the spirit of a hero who once saved Hyrule. So this is armor. What the f- Ew! 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 God, ew! Gross! Ew! Can you put on, like, hats or anything? You can't? Ew! Wow, not worth <laughs> oh. All right. Not worth it. Take it off. Wear it. No. All right. Time to go beat the game. Gross. <laughs> All right. So we have to go underneath and go. Do we have to go underneath and go north here? So are we ending the game? Are we ending where we start? It just looks weird. It just looks weird, all right? <laughs> this looks really weird. <laughs> look, yeah, I'll look I'll look at the quest. I'll look at the quest. I, I wonder what actually is north from here. It's, it's probably just light route. Let's see. Okay. Destroy Ganondorf. Uh, I thought, see, like, I found Princess... Like, it's so weird. Like, I found Princess Zelda... I know where Princess Zelda is. She's a fucking dragon in the sky. There she is. Like, what do you want me to do about it? There she is. Uh, I guess let's go here. Have we not hit credits? I just got all the shrines. I don't, but I mean, I don't know what else I would do. Like, I, I actually, I landed on dra on on the dragon, and I was jumping on her head, and it seems like like you, it'd be cool if you could like tell somebody, hey, Princess Zelda became a dragon, but nobody nobody says anything. As I've talked to everybody, so um, let's see, is there a way down? To the depths from here. I don't know, actually. Hmm. Gotta talk to the dragon. Can you just like, can you just jump down from here? Period. That's if I do this. Oh, like down this one, right? And then here. Oh, Discovery. Hyrule Castle Chasm. It'd be really cool if we could, like, look where we were at the beginning of the game. Because there were, I remember at the beginning of the game, they showed us, like, a bombable wall. But we weren't... I remember we weren't allowed to, like, look at it or do anything there. Okay. Would have been cool. Yeah, we got all the shrines. You know, I bet we're going to take some, like, glue. Oh, what's what's my health situation looking at? Uh, I guess I've, I've got some food. All right. I was like, maybe I should cook something. Huh? 
Yeah, at the very beginning of the game in the opening cutscene, they show you like a bombable wall. And, uh... We weren't allowed, like, obviously you, you, you didn't, you weren't allowed to pull out like the Sheikah Slate or something. You couldn't do anything there. I'm going to change to my thing here so I have some like protection. Are you right for the finale of the game? It's going to be sick. Yeah, I'm excited too. I'm excited to see this is like ex exciting to be doing something new again. Uh, here, let me go. Uh, I'm going to make some food here real quick because uh, I feel like we might get to a point here. Let's take a look. Let me go turn off cat cam. I don't want to get caught with like no getting caught with no health would be kind of shit. Uh, here, let's go do that. And some sun. Where's the sun? I have a bunch of sun lions, surely. Oh, yeah, I got a lot. Okay, let's go cook that. Sunny steamed meat. Just a bit of, maybe not, we're not gonna go too crazy here. Five hearty truffles. Do I have, do I have five hearty truffles? Do I really? I also have a lot of fairies too. <laughs> oh, I got nuggies. Oh, hell yeah. You feeling okay, Ben? Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Let those babies sleep. Fairy checking in. Oh, there we go. I do have five hearty truffles. Whoops. And a sundalion. There we go. Cook these together. What do we got? Wow, just cooking that. Wow, that was bullshit. Cooking that with a sundalion just gives you that? That's bullshit. Not worth. They can't. Ah, oh, okay. That makes sense. Bullshit. Hmm? I did not get the highly the Hylian shield. I don't know where that is, actually. I've got no idea. Uh... No clue on that one. Uh, let's see what else we got. We'll, well, we'll make this our last one. Stamina. We want something that's just healing. Uh, cooked in a dish. Apples. And sure. Okay, that's good. All right. That way we have some way to cut to cure gloom gloom damage. I feel like gloom damage could get really landslidey and get pretty frustrating by the end of it too. Right? Mustard chicken. Mm. Oh, they have a different straw now. Weird. Nice. Still going. That's right, man. We're at the end of the game. We got all the shrines. We're uh, trying to finish up. Hmm? 
The sword is more glowy. Is it? Yeah. This is a fucking serious Lionel, isn't it? This is a serious one. Horsey. I don't think the Lionel, I don't think the mask would help here. Wow, what the fuck? Is there no weapon re uh, repair feature in this game? Well, there kind of is. You repair your weapon by making a new one. <laughs> been hit by fucking everything. I wonder if they give you a chance to uh, cure your gloom before whatever the final boss is going to be. Big time asshole, man. I was wondering who the fuck was shooting me and it was a goddamn Lionel down here. <laughs> uh, a nice shield. Uh, okay, okay. Are we uh coming up through here? Is that what we're doing? But the final boss is Danny DeVito. Ah, here we go. Maybe this way? Or is this where we came from? Did I get the gloom armor? I have some gloom armor, yeah. Okay. Something up top here? Can I, uh... I can't. Oh god, that was the wrong side. Oh god, no! Um... Is there any way I can do this? I don't, I don't really see a way to do this. I could like rocket launch myself up top, I guess. I guess I, I kind of have to figure this out, don't I? Okay. Can you move the other debris? Uh, let's see. 
The shrine armor is apparently OP. Oh, is it? I have no idea. Here, you guys want a nuggie? Here you go. We're strapped in for the long haul, guys. Have a nuggie. So apparently I can't climb this shit, huh? I mean, I might just drop a rocket. You got nuggies on the way? Okie dokie. Yeah, I think there was a way to use recall there, but. Uh, what do we have here? Got my cobble crusher, right? Spicy nugs? Oh, spicy nugs. Absolutely. Gotta go spicy nuggets. Then there's a fucking frog in here too? Probably not, right? I'm getting fucked. Ow, ow, stop it. Ah! Fuck you. Fuck you. God damn fucking bats. Fuck you, man. Jesus. Whoa. A sage cannot reach you. Is that supposed to mean, um, my I can't summon the sages here? I mean, I, I never use them anyway. <laughs> oh, but I guess they, uh, they got rid of bird bitch, huh? Fair enough. That doesn't bode well. Last Gamba. Hmm. All right, let's make some more weapons. What do we got? Um. Sure, why not? There we go. Pretty wow, that's a badass looking sword, dude. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have a I also have the ancient arrows too. Which uh I could use those ancient arrows, I guess, too. Okay, some strong weapons. Uh, looks like we're going across. We need to go across here. They're giving me a plane. Ah. Interesting. 
Well, I don't know if they're ancient arrows, but these things, the ancient blade, they, they say don't make the... They, well, the game tells you do not make an ancient... Do not make uh, a sword with these. They're very, very distinctly like, hey, you should totally do that with that. I guess those are kind of like ancient arrows from uh, from Breath of the Wild, I guess. But I don't know. Now, I don't know how far we can even fly this thing, but... Let's see. Oh, uh, I have fans, right? I have fans. Where did I get those? You can find those around. You can find those around. Put a rocket on it. I don't think the rocket's going to help us here. Keep going this way. Wow. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> A whole lot of good that plane did me. Thanks, fairy. Forgotten Foundation. Hmm. Interesting. Remember that lady in America used Gorilla Glue on her hair? No, I don't. I tried a kamikaze technique. Was there a, Do we miss a moment of a wall? I didn't see one. Did we miss one? Have we tried smiling more? Am I on my way to Ganon? I missed a I missed a wall. I didn't see it. All right, let's try it. Oh, this one. How many bombs we have? You know, I might need. I could very well need these bombs. Oh, wow, perfect. Oh, okay, sure. That's pretty good. Yeah, I finished all the shrines. Plus nine, not bad. Oh, fuck. My, uh, my hero sword already broke. Uh, do I have an elemental weapon? What do we have? Uh, I have the flame Gleok sword. I think I've had this forever. Like a flamethrower sword. Okay. Okay, the flame Gleok sword is pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. I shit talked it in the past. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Okay. The game just gave me that. Most durable sword in Zelda. The flamethrower sword is pretty metal. It is. This part's too scary. Was this from the intro? Uh, I don't remember. It seems vaguely intro esque, right? Seems like it. Sorry, I mean nuggies. The music is vaguely like Twilight Princess esque. Oh yeah, we were here. Oh, we were here. Yeah, this was this was where we were. I recognize this room. This is exactly where we were. And oh, this is so cool. You get to come back and you get to un uncover it to see what was actually here the whole time. Oh, that's neat. All right, let's see. Let's 
So this is... We kind of knew this, right? This is what we saw. This is Zelda with the sword. And restoring the sword. And this is... So it was prophesized that she would become a fucking dragon. Now, if Zelda actually let me do anything at the beginning, we would have saw all this. Because I would have used my Sheikah bombs to find all this. Go find Link's arm. <clears throat> yeah, kind of, uh... Kind of does remind me slightly of God of War. <laughs> Reminds me of God of War 4 where you're getting some of the prophecy, but not all of it. it does remind me a little bit of that. Man, I wonder, are, are we ever going to be able... Are they going to let me heal my gloom at all here? Maybe the game... Dude, maybe the game is like fuck you if you if you don't if you don't have that here. Maybe the game is just straight up fuck you. Uh I, I have plenty of Sundalions. Somewhere. We got. That would be interesting. I type. Where the hell is it? Uh, did I, I didn't use them all, right? You already cut. I know, I know, but I took so much damage from that Lionel. <laughs> it's a crazy damage. I uh, is this it? No. There it is. Yeah, I got a lot. There we go. Let's eat that stu the sunny ste steamed fruit. Let's go get that heart back. Um, let me go cook a bit more here too. I wonder if you just cook the, uh, if you just cook these, what you get. What if I just cook all of these? What if I do, what if I do that? Hang on. Okay, so that's, uh, a lot of hearts back. Still not all that many, though. Okay. Why not just the porridge recipe? Uh, let's go do that, and let's go do that, and let's go have the, I think I cooked the truffle, right? There we go. Full recovery. There we go. And then this is where it all happened here, huh? Old Barb would have never used the food cheat. It's not. So now it's cheating to heal. How long until it's cheating to attack? Barb, you shouldn't be attacking, dude. How long until that? I got my silver lionel blade, which does 70 damage. Gloom's lair. Cool. This is neat. Dude, you're doing it wrong. This music is cool, too. I mean, it feels like it's something fucking epic is about to happen, right? That was Zelda's torch. Was that where Zelda fell? It sounds like backwards music is what it sounds like. Is that implying we're going back in time right now? Is this because this is where Zelda fell, right? Well, Gloom backwards uh, is Moog. I don't know. <laughs> Is there some kind of significance to Moog? What does Moog mean? This is cool. Come on, don't bullshit me. I am Melania, Blade of Mika.
Link, we shall protect Hyrule together. is cool. Alright, so what's about to happen now? Oh, shit. Round two? Not you. I need somebody more useful, bird bitch. Gabnon's army is pretty puny. Okay, now what? Epic? This is cute. Oh, fuck. Where's the five Lionels? Yeah, right? Where's the, uh, where's my flamethrower sword? Is getting sleepy. Uh, good fucking timing, huh? This fight's designed to break all your weapons. Ah, oh, shit. Nine, and then you have to. Dude, that'd be so funny if the Koroks joined you here. <laughs> that would actually be pretty funny. The Koroks are here! Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, GG. At dawn, look to the east. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. It's the it's the banjo kazooie ginjo nader. Oh no. That gloom. It means but one thing: the demon king is there. Huh? Right. You gotta be fucking kidding me, right? Are they gonna hold him off? More obstacles in our path, but our foe is mistaken if he thinks this will stop us. We are fated to fight these beasts. Don't worry about us. We'll take care of this, Goro. Got you. So what happens if you don't uh, if you don't get them all? Do you have to fight them all? We already beat them once. This will be a breeze for sure. It is time, Link. The rest is up to you. That's pretty funny. Dude, how do you fight the Spirit Temple one? How do you fight the Spirit Temple one without the robot? <laughs> I don't know how you do that. Carefully, it's pretty rough. Yeah, I don't know. How do you fucking do that, right? Um. Where am I going? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh! <laughs> oh! I, I thought they were... Uh, you know, my bad. I thought they wanted me to go that way. This game looks so cool. This is, uh... This is very evil. Even for... This is very evil for Zelda standards. How disappointing. This world should be shrouded in darkness, not bathed in insufferable light. All these weak, peace-loving cowards running rampant. It would have been more satisfying to overcome a worthy foe. I hope you're a cool final boss. The final boss in Breath of the Wild is very disappointing. Hopefully this one's cool. This is a cool visually. This is a really cool version of Ganon. Oh no, he's hot. He's hot. I told you he was going to bring it back. I told you he wasn't going to be uh, Ganon or the mummy Ganon. Regardless. I will reshape this world as it was meant to be. I will crush any opposition. I will rule. That is what a king must do. Demon King Ganondorf. It me. <laughs> <laughs> Do not look I studied away. the blade. <laughs> You're the you worst. Witness a king's revival. An 
and the birth of his new world. Your world sucks. It's just filled with fucking zombies and, and skeletons and shit. Uh, also, my cinder block. Ow! <laughs> barely gotten started. Whoa! Ow! Dick! Alright, can I construct a rocket launcher of some kind? Oh, I'm getting my ass whooped. Sword Saint! It's Sword Saint Ganon! Does he have a gun? Does he have a gun? Ah, uh, hang on. One second. This is important. What do I have? Uh... Damn it. Oh, you know what? I can I can use them. All right, here you go. I'm I'm getting rid of the fairies. So gonna be more to this than that Fall. Oof. that can't be it there's got what else is there Blood surges in my veins. Is he only using one percent of his power? Come, Sekiro. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> the life bar just keeps going. If he hits you, he does the gloom damage. It's time to finish him off. He's got the uh, the big Tetsubo out now. Oh God! Hey, can I turn you fuckers off? I can't. You can't turn them off.
I like his uh, kimono sleeve. Come on, kill one of the sages. Kill Sidon or something. Come, Sekiro. Whoa. What is going on? Okay, I can't hit him. Uh, ow. Oh, I can hit him. Seems, uh, hard. Ow. Hey. Was that permanent damage? Like, that wasn't just like a little damage. That was like, oh no, you are actually super damaged. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeesh. Dude, I love, it's so funny that he's doing permanent damage to you. <laughs> ow. Oh, ow. Yeah, what happens if you're here with three hearts? Dude, why are you such a douche? Yeah! Is his health bar gonna go even farther now? Swallow it and become a dragon too? Dude, that would be rad. Imagine if he fucking became a dragon too. Oh shit, he is. Oh shit. <laughs> That's sick. Okay, and now Zelda's gonna show up. some Neo shit going on right now. <laughs> this, is, this is straight up Neo 3 going on here. That was not my soundboard now. <laughs> I 
Guys, it's a Nintendo Switch. Give it a break. That's working as hard as it can. He almost looks more like the Calamity Ganon, right? Didn't crash. Whoa! <laughs> he looks really cool. <laughs> This is why you can't cure Zelda, right? Well, I just want to see a consequence of... I want to see Zelda not able to return to human form. That should be, like, permanent. I want to see a consequence in the story. That'd be really cool. I know she will. I just... I, I'm just hoping for a consequence. like the most Asian possible ending for a Zelda game. <laughs> so Zelda is a, a she's a she's a dragon, yeah. What uh, What do you want me to do? <laughs> Draconify Demon King. Oh, I can I can jump off. Even touching him is just poo poo. Uh, hey, hey, Ganon, hang on, hang on a second. Ah, uh, fuck. You know, I was looking really cool for a second. Uh, ah! Uh, hi. Um, 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 <laughs> where are you going? What am I, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm not going to reach him, right? Uh, hey, Zelda, can you come get me? Zelda, come pick me up. Oh, am I, am I supposed to like, hang on, am I supposed to go for these things? 
Oh, I gotta go for like his back pimples. Oh. I thought I thought I had to go for the fucking head. Did you see Avengers? Should have went for the fucking head. This is really slow. Maybe I just suck. It feels slow, doesn't it? Like, all right, hang on. Let me get over there. Oh, actually, Zelda can be. Ow! Zelda. Hit me up, Zelda. Can you fly right up? Well, she, Zelda just kind of drops you where she drops you. like it better than the Breath of the Wild boss fight. But yeah, it's like it's like they really wanted to end the game with like one of these super cinematic moments, you know? Which I guess I understand. Um It's like a victory lap. Well, I don't know if I'd say I like it so much as I think it's better than Breath of the Wilds. Like Breath of the Wilds ending is pretty bad. Yeah, the Ganon fight itself was pretty cool. Um, Dragon Ganondorf and Dragon Zelda are both pretty cool too. Where's Dragon? Wait, you know what? Why don't we don't? Why don't we get to, to swallow a sage and become Dragon Link? That'd be sick, right? Why don't we get to do that shit? <laughs> Let me fucking handle that. I'll fucking become a dragon too. How cool would that be? Zelda did it. Dragon Groose. There you go. I think what part of, I think part of what makes this slower is that it kind of feels like I have to glide a lot to get where I'm going and the projectiles are like no danger pretty much. Projectiles are basically absolutely no danger. Two more zits, so it's kind of like uh, I don't know if the mobility set would make much of a difference, you know. I'm gonna be so mad if I die. I wouldn't mind redoing the beginning of the fight, like the first Ganon. I mean, obviously, I don't mind redoing it considering I burned my fairies intentionally, so obviously, I don't care. I purposely destroyed my fairies. <laughs> Jumping off Zelda way too soon. Ah, jump off this. I want to do it all in one hit. Sacred stone. We destroy the sacred stone. Uh, 
Oh. Could you actually die there? Uh, it feels really hard to die here. Like, it'd be like really hard. A great villain. I love when he was like, I want power. And then <laughs> now he's gone. Power will be mine. And there he goes. Kaboom! We go, chat. We did it. Right. Turn it off. We turn it off. Later. <laughs> Didn't make any sense. Stop ah, with the white screens. Every game company nowadays, they're obsessed with just flashbang. <laughs> Two hours. They later. took my paraglider, god damn it.
Dive to Zelda. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> nah. the ground. Come on! <laughs> nope. Your fault. You did this. You had to go investigate Ganon, but no. Didn't listen to me, huh? See ya. Oh, Who's fault is that? That's your home. That's your home. Are you too good for your home? <laughs> We're not falling anymore. They don't let you! They don't let you! <laughs> we. Oh, I'm gonna save you, Zelda. Oh, I'm psych! Nope. Oh, I guess I'm gonna get you this time. Nope! Sorry. All right, here it comes, Zelda. Oh, 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 getting close. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, oh let me get you. No, oh, psych. All right, I'm gonna get you this time. No, no, maybe I'll save you this time. No, I don't think so. The orchestra's getting tired! The orchestra's tired! Uh oh! What? <laughs> I didn't. All I did was press it, I didn't, I didn't hold it. I didn't hold it. <laughs> Boy, it's a long fall. Man, this part's really hard. I can't do it. <laughs> that poor orchestra. I hate you. <laughs> I feel like Zelda should have like her mind is gone. Like she has lost her mind. She's like nothing anymore. But no, she's going to be like, Link, Link, Eric, you saved me. Yeah. Oi, Link. Link, how are you? We 
expected you to, after all. sleeping all this time but when I felt something like a warm loving embrace I woke up I was jumping on your head at one point saying Zelda 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 but you didn't really what you didn't recognize me Uh, Link, thank you for five dollars. Uh, Crash Four XT, thank you for the three months. Uh, probably iFlames thanks a thousand bits. Misery Island thanks the bits. Uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, GG. Is this where you unlock 120 more shrines? Uh, yeah. Tears of Kingdom, guys. That's it. The Zelda marathon's done. We don't have to play. We don't. Have no more Zelda. No more Zelda. Uh, Maximus, thank you for the 32 months. Thank you very much. Only it was only a 90 hour playthrough. Only 90 hours. It's over. Start the marathon over again. Oh, I don't think so, man. We started this marathon. We started this marathon back doing Zelda second quest. Zelda one second quest a long time ago. It was a while ago. Uh, Keck W Secret Service, thank you for the 300 bits. Dragonovich, thank you for the 16 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, all right. Closing thoughts. Um, I had a really, really good time with this game. I had a fucking awesome time with this game. I feel as though overall this is a big improvement over Breath of the Wild. It addresses many of the issues with Breath of the Wild that I had. And I think other people had too. Uh, just a really, really good game. Um, I think the final boss is like a bit better than the boss from Breath of the Wild for sure. Uh, I like the different Ganon forms. I loved, I loved the health bar going off the screen. That was funny. The final, the final, final version with the dragon. That one kind of sucked, but uh, that I wasn't really a fan of that. That one felt kind of dull and too easy, but the Ganondorf fight with was, was okay. That did feel a bit easy though, for sure. Definitely felt a bit easy still, but it was still enjoyable. Um, I enjoyed the temples mostly. Uh, I don't feel like the temples were the, were the temples to me were not like the big leap forward from the divine beasts. Like, I don't feel like the temples in this game were like, oh, we got Zelda dungeons. Like, I, I don't think that's what they were. I don't think that's what they were. It's not easy. You had all upgrades. What, the dragon? The dragon thing is not easy? Uh, maybe it's not. I don't know. But um, better, but still not quite there. Uh, the temples were maybe, maybe like, I'd say they were maybe like slightly better than Divine Beast, but not, not that much better. Now the bosses were definitely better than, than the Breath of the Wild bosses, that for sure. But uh, yeah, the, the, the bosses were absolutely improved. Uh, 
obviously the mechanics of the game, the uh, the ultra hand and tie and the recall and fusion, like all those things were all really well done. They were all really good. Uh, enjoyed all the new mechanics. I do kind of stand by what I said before, where I feel like this game is a game of like, I, I said this before, I'll say it again. It's a game of like a ton of hors d'oeuvres and no real like meal, like no meal. What do, what do I mean by that? What I mean is like everything um, it was a fun watch. Good loud. Uh, tin can, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. Like I enjoyed the game and I had a great time with it. I do feel like all the puzzles or challenges, they were all self-contained. They're all in like their own little bubble. And those, uh, Dio, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. Like a lot of mini games and smaller self-contained challenges and puzzles and combat, they don't really like come together in a big cohesive thing. So it kind of feels like a ton of a ton of disparate parts with like less cohesion, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So like shrines would show you the coolest mechanics ever and then do nothing with them. And then you would never see that mechanic ever again. So it makes you it just makes you wonder like I, I guess they like it's like they hold back from from going all in and making something really, really special in terms of like the actual like like a really like a challenging dungeon with big puzzles like they don't want to do that it's always the exact same thing and then in each of the each of the dungeons was exactly the same format right like you had activate these five points and then you fight the boss and you're done right so you know um like i enjoy i i still enjoyed the game like i had a great time with it i don't think it's like uh i don't think it's perfect uh it's it's also like, I feel like I would not want another game in this style for a while, like a really long time. Like we did Breath of the Wild, we had Tears of the Kingdom, like I'd hope in the next game they kind of did something different. Like change direction, something new. Better than Divine Beast is still not as good as Dungeons. Like I would hope they kind of did something different next time. No, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the game. I'd probably say an eight and a half or a nine maybe out of 10, eight and a half or nine overall. One other game with Wind Waker type graphics. Ah, that I don't think you'll ever get. I doubt it, but I think like an eight and a half or a nine for me out of 10 is what I would say. Are all of your outfits completed? We finished all side missions. Where is the shield? Surely you need to keep going for a day or two. No, I'm, a, I'm done with this for, I'm done with this. For, we're not playing any more of this. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm stepping away from this game. I'm done. This is the style going forward. Yeah, yeah. I'd say like eight and a half, nine. Um, towards the end, the shrines like... Uh, in Breath of the Wild, at the end, the shrines become like, you know, test of strength, test of strength, test of strength. In this game, it becomes find the cave and find the cave. And like, don't get me wrong, find the cave is fun, but you do end up doing that a lot. Uh, I'd probably say Breath of the Wild would be like, uh, maybe like for me, like an eight or a seven and a half. And I would definitely say that this is like an eight and a half or a nine. So I definitely say it's better than Breath of the Wild for sure. And then I had some amazing fun with this game for sure. Uh, all Koroks? I don't think so. Zelda might be the star of her own game. Uh, who knows? We'll see what the future brings, right? Do you want to see how you fight the final boss or is that abilities? Um, yeah, I mean, I might check out a speedrun or something. We'll see. Tough customer. Breath of the Wild is a low seven. It has no replay value before this. It's, it's kind of funny after Tears of the Kingdom came out, people are so ready to like say, you know, Breath of the Wild was actually dog shit. It's like, wow, all these years of saying, no! This is the greatest game of all time. And now that this game's out there, like, hey, yo, Breath of the Wild, low key trash, though. It's like, we were saying that we were saying this game has problems for years. We've been saying that we've been saying this shit for like years since release. And you were like, no, no, you refuse to answer anything. This is like a six out of 10 at best for you. Hmm. Well. Whatever, whatever you may rate it, I had more fun with this than Breath of the Wild overall. And there were some genuinely super fun moments. I think for me, my the most fun I had was going into the underground, finding the fucking frog, having no idea how to get away from the frog, uh, stumbling into King Gliok with like no hearts, getting stuck on King Gliok, going up into the Deku tree, like, that was uh 
that was all super super fun that was all super fun that was that was uh that was probably the, the most fun the game was for me eight out of ten i played it the shrine paddle boat monster that was pretty good too yeah that was pretty good so many of the shrines like the shrines like the combat shrines were better like many of the shrines were better in this game than breath of the wild but i feel like i can't remember any individual shrines like probably that one but the shrines were all so forgettable and short don't you think like really really short and forgettable in this one maybe because there, maybe it's because there were just so many i guess maybe it's because there were just so many the mad oh yeah the, there was the mad max shrine the battle bot shrine the halo shrine uh the the crawling monster shrine i guess ign said this was a 10 so it's a 10 i do not agree a 10 to me is a flawless masterpiece that like nothing wrong with it whatsoever this is not a 10 out of 10 in my opinion not even close so. number of companies that helped with this yeah it's a big thing to make and i would not give this a 10 out of 10 for sure uh the resident Evil 4 remake i'd give a 10 out of 10 was hades a 10 no what a 10 out of 10 to me my definition of a 10 out of 10 would be it, the game is perfect I don't know what I would change about it. I have nothing but nitpicks about it. Uh, may, may, maybe not even nitpicks about that. I feel like there are some fairly big flaws with this game and stuff that's maybe like disconcerting about the future of Zelda too. So, it scales the games uh, to its own potential, but there are better and worse perfect games. I mean, you can come up with whatever scale you want for rating games. Uh, I, I don't give this a 10 out of 10, so. Is Sekiro a 10 out of 10? I do not give Sekiro a 10 out of 10 either. You're going to go with Tetris. This will beat out Resident Evil 4 for game of the year. Uh, it very well could. I mean, uh, ultimately game of the year is going to come down. I mean, that's, that's, dude, if Last of Us 2 can win game of the year, what difference does, does what difference does that title even make? <laughs> so I wonder when you finish the game, can you still wander around the world or what? Or is it just like, does it, does it kick you out and that's it? It'd be kind of cool if there was a post game that let you do something. I can't believe such an impressive landmass can float in the sky. Just when I thought I'd started to figure the zone eye out. Why the characters in this are all the most insipid, <laughs> useless sacks of shit I've ever seen. Everyone, I am glad I was able to bring you all here. I wanted to share this view of Hyrule with all of you. Whoa. I've never been this far up before, Goro. Shut the fuck up! What a sight it is. And Zelda, you were roaming the skies all along? Yes, although I don't really remember. I never thought I would actually stand here again. This is only uh. a theory, but... Raru's power of light... And Sonya's time power. For Zelda to transform back, they both must have channeled their abilities through you, Link. Oh. I see. Bah! Come on, chew the can. Now it seems, it is my time. Minoru! Do not worry. What happens if you don't you do the spirit temple? The burden my era left to you. You have like, who the fuck are you? I know I can move on, join Raru and the others, and the world will be safe. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Those, Those of us, us 
gathered here swear on our lives to support the princess and to support Princess Zelda and seek from the land of life. Ravlu and Sonia will be happy to hear of this. But Minoru... Hi. Go away now. Bye-bye. And now let them know... just how much you care. Come on! Barb's first story and video game. Okay, now it's a six out of ten. Thank you, Barb. They like, like sweep it up and push it over the side of the island. <laughs> like, shut it right off. King Rara, Queen Sonia, Minoru, the ancient sages. She forgot their names. <laughs> the uh the ancient sages she forgot their names I will dedicate myself to oh you guys now and for all time my friends with all of your strength Stand with me. Oh, what the sleep? What is this? What is this? Metal Gear Solid? My, my, my console went to sleep. <laughs> what is this shit? Metal Gear Solid? What was that last scene? Oh, that's Two it. Hours so what happens if I hit continue? Hell. What happens if I hit continue? Oh, it's it's just so it's just like Breath of the Wild. When the game ends, it's like yep, you're right back where you were, and that's it. Uh, I guess I give you a star. I'm not sure what the star means. Is that like your most recent or whatever? You get a star. Guess the percent. You get the right. Yeah, I got that. You can see per, uh, um, completion percentage. Where is that? Like here. Load it. Beat the game. Yeah, that's it. Uh, what was the point of the end scene? I guess the point of the end scene was to show you that Mineru is joining uh, the other goats in Valhalla or whatever. <laughs> joining the other goats. Where Where is the completion percentage at? Where's that at? I mean, you get a star for beating the game. There was an attempt. And Bahala at the oh at the map. Uh, hang on. Uh, I don't, I don't see it. You see it? Fifty four. Oh, fifty four point three three percent. So, the other forty five, forty six point six seven percent. That's like what side quests and Koroks and uh, maybe bosses. You have to defeat the bosses or something, right? Light routes. Yeah, yeah, that's probably everything. 
I won't be fucking doing that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I won't be fucking doing that. I'm afraid not. So, so like when you say like 100 percent, and and you you say like oh 100 percent of our game, I feel like the deal there is that the quests are of a certain significance to the actual gameplay, and like. There's stuff in the game like collecting Koroks is like collecting Koroks is like okay it's like kind of significant to a point but after a while it's not but then you got like well what about the side quest where you collect the armor of the mushroom hat it's like who gives a rat's ass about that like that should that should not count towards completion percentage that that shouldn't like oh you get like ten rupees if you do that right like I don't, I don't know you should, I'm not gonna give a rat's fucking ass about that shit please yeah go make me some porridge yeah go catch nine hundred ninety nine. Yeah, overall, uh, really enjoyed the game. I'd give it like an eight and a half or maybe a nine out of 10. Probably no higher than that is probably where I'd ended. I'm thinking about doing a full review of the game. I'm thinking about it. Not sure. Thinking about it. But yeah, that concludes, guys. The Zelda marathon is over. Man, we started this shit. I don't even know fucking when playing Zelda 1. Uh, we, we played, man, Zelda 1, 2, all the CDI games, Link to the Past, Ocarina, Majora's, uh, Link Between Worlds, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild, like, fucking A. We did it. That was a huge-ass marathon of different games. Yeah, Doom Zelda. A few weeks ago, uh, what, was, what was that, in, like, January? January we started? It's now May? Fucking A, dude. Holy crap. Five months. That was a long time. That was a long time. Zelda's over, finally. <laughs> Uh, scrap hearts. Thanks a hundred bits. Thank you very much. Appreciate yeah, Oh yeah. Let's not forget the fucking Oracle games. Let's not fucking forget those. Right. Same time next year. Thanks so much. Fun. Thanks for the fun. I'm not a huge Zelda fan, but she had a blast. Oh, the Zelda games. It's a great series for sure. And it's had its ups and downs like any, which Zelda is my favorite now after playing all of these games. Uh, my favorite Zelda is still Ocarina of time. <laughs> still, still Ocarina. Sorry. Better luck next time. Zelda games. Final Fantasy would be dope. Uh, am I going to finish that randomizer? Can we see Thickums for old time's sakes? Uh, sure. One one last farewell to Thickums. Yet! One, one last farewell to the thickest ladies of Hyrule. You loved my playthroughs of the CDI games? Thanks. Feel strong, man. Goodbye, Thickums. We will miss the thickest... We will miss the thickest women in Hyrule. Absolutely. Holy... <laughs>